Okay, we're going to show you how to use a piece of software called PE Design Lite. It's for the CAD CAM machine, um, it's only for one of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to use that. Really, really simply, what you can do is you can import images. Um, the first thing you will need to do is save it in your picture folder. But if you import the image, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the Rushmead logo. Okay. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to press on the auto punch. Now this will tell me how many different colours are in my logo. If I leave them all in, I'm going to have the machine stop in all the time, every time it needs a new colour. So I can admit certain colours that I don't need. These four here, I'm actually going to keep those in. So I'm going to press finish when I'm happy with it. I can also add additional detail such as lettering in whatever font I desire and when I press OK that will appear on the screen. I can adjust the length, I can adjust the width, I can also alter it so that it goes round in some sort of arc. Now if it doesn't do that, simply what you haven't done is you haven't selected it. So press on the arrow and simply press again. You should be able to adjust it and alter it as you need to. You can also adjust the distance between the letters if you wish, just going up or down. Simply I'm going to move that over to wherever I need it to be. I'm then going to rotate it down. Now what I can use is the simple rotate button at the very top. I'm going to grab hold of the corner and I'm going to move that round. I'm going to move it around so it adjusts, so it moves slightly and fits around the rushes. If it doesn't, I can then move it again. So I can change again the length and width so that it fits correctly. When I'm happy with it, all I need to do is I then go to File and I go to Write to Card because I have a little card reader attached to the front of the computer. I'm going to press on the current design. It will only hold one design at a time. You then press OK. If it's not inserted correctly, it will come up with a little message. Just make sure that it's popped in. Once it's done that, it will then come up with another message saying that it's happy for me to continue. Now this may take some time, but it will come up saying writing to original card is completed. When we're happy with that, we press OK, we then go over to the embroidery machine. 